Let's move to the next one. This is uh, from Ankit Varliani from Salary Fits. Ankit. Yeah. Hi, Supriya. Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you have to sort out his problem. Yes. yes. We are trying, sir. We are trying at the back. Right. Uh, is my screen uh, visible? Yes. Yes, Ankit. All right. Um, so, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you all for joining in today. I hope all of you are doing well and keeping safe. I'm Ankit Varliani, and we are Salary Fits. Uh, Salary Fits aims at solving uh, the problem of the lack of financial inclusion that not only exists in our country, but globally. Uh, this disparity is largely due to inefficiencies in the current financial ecosystem. Due to the insufficient availability of data from the customer's end, financial institutions spend a lot of time and effort in identifying the right customer, leading to high rejection rates and higher cost of lending. This creates a lot of friction in the system. Because of this, people ultimately resort to informal ways of lending, leading to further debt. Just to take an example, a large number of people in our country do not get access to sustainable credit not because of a bad credit score, but because they don't have a credit score at all. So what does a population of a diverse background have in common with them? It's their salaries. And that is where we come in. Salary Fits provides a digital infrastructure and links financial service providers, employers, and employees on a single platform where employers can provide financial benefits to their employees free of cost. Employees get access to sustainable financial products and providers get payroll verified KYC information of employees upon their consent and a completely secure repayment channel by way of salary deductions. All being managed in one place. Now, especially in these times when lenders are being highly circumspect in giving out new loans or fresh loans, fearing delinquency, a salary deductible loan not only ensures repayment, but also being attached to a corporate from the financial provider's perspective gives additional credibility and a host of insights on the whole process, making the entire ecosystem uh, a highly secure uh, one. Right. So it's pretty clear and understandably so uh, based on the data that is collected, not only in our country, but even globally, uh, that the majority of employee churn and reduced engagement levels in the organizations are purely due to personal financial reasons. So companies need to start taking an active part in their employees' financial issues and service providers need to approach the salary class in a digital and holistic manner. Even now, most of the times what you would see is that uh, a bank or a group of banks who are providing or covering the entire employee base in an organization by providing, you know, salaries when it comes to selling or uh, when it comes to, you know, increasing their penetration rates within that corporate or selling more and more products apart from, you know, just the salaried accounts. Uh, all that you see that the HR enables is that, uh, you know, uh, setting up of a stall of a bank at the reception area and hoping that the employees would be interested in, you know, buying either a credit card or a personal loan or whatever. And that's just completely inefficient. Uh, there is, there are not many inroads being, you know, uh, being, being made by any of the whether it's NBFCs or banks, you know, within those corporates with that method. So that needs uh, a paradigm shift uh, in that scenario. Right. So due to the digital nature of our platform and the payroll information that we are able to bring forward, providers are able to reduce the lag of approving a customer drastically and then are able to provide uh, or improve penetration rates that I was talking about within the corporate multifold. Now, with the data that we have, uh, the industry average uh, in India is around 10%, which means that, uh, as an example, Bank A is providing salaries in a particular corporate, uh, uh, which has, you know, you know 1,000 employees. Their industry, their, their average penetration rates of other products is approximately of around 10%. And globally, that what we've seen on our platform is that uh, on an average with the 5 or 6 million customers that we have on our platform, the penetration rate within a corporate is of around 46%. Right. So um, our financial well-being platform is, uh, uh, as the word says, financial well-being uh, includes not only uh, credit related products, but also products related to savings, investments and insurance. Uh, being an entity with global presence, uh, we are GDPR compliant and we also adhere to various InfoSec and other data sec related guidelines. 
our front end can be made available in the form of a web platform or our own app for the employees as well and we can also get directly integrated at the back end of the lender's own journey or platform so you don't need to reinvent the wheel with every new corporate that gets uh, onboarded from the financial provider side uh, we currently have operations in across eight different countries and we work in more than 300 plus corporates globally across different sectors uh, we're integrated with more than 200 different payroll systems uh, currently we have more than 6 million active monthly users with delinquency rates of uh, around 0.5 percent uh, in india we are at a nascent stage right now of our commercial growth but uh, we already have few banking partnerships in the form of a couple of banks and nbfcs and a mutual fund company that are already onboarded so we already have products uh, related to personal loans two-wheeler and four-wheeler loans credit cards and mutual funds on our platform uh, so yeah, uh, I thought uh, I'll, I'll keep the presentation, you know, short and sweet so that, you know, we can have potentially, you know, more time for Q&A. So happy to uh, answer any questions. Thanks. Thanks, Ankit. So any questions, you can put it in your chat box. And Ankit, if you have received directly. Yeah, let me check. Right. So uh, I have one question here. Um, yeah, so uh, one question is, how does the employer come into the lending uh, picture? So typically, uh, uh, the go-to-market strategy is uh, for the financial providers to have a better penetration rate within their existing corporate clientele. So we purely act as a technology platform uh, in that piece. So uh, we, uh, through our technology, we're able to enhance uh, the uh, uh, penetration rates of a particular financial provider. And that is where we go through the HR route always because the payroll information is in question. Okay. And there is one more question which says, how much loan you have helped? Sorry, how much? Loan you have helped to disperse till now through salary deduction. Uh, right. So globally, uh, our numbers range uh, at around, uh, we have outstanding loan amount, uh, you could say, of around $25 billion uh, uh, on, on a global level. Right. And one question is, uh, do you have any thumb rule for salary to loan ratio? Uh, that's a very good question, actually. So um, we typically keep a, a minimum uh, available amount. So uh, it is usually capped at around 30 to 40%, which means that if someone is earning one lakh rupees per month, uh, you know, to ensure that there is no over debit of, you know, taking, you know, multiple loans from a particular individual, we keep the cap at around 30 to 40 percent of the, you know, monthly EMI amount. So it, it, if someone's earning one lakh rupees, EMI cannot be more than 30 or 40,000 rupees. Okay. And there is a question. Please share the solution of payroll system in detail. Yeah, sure. We'll be. I'll be happy to you know connect later and uh, uh, give you a detailed demo of the platform and everything. Sure. Thanks, Ankit. Thanks for the presentation and well, you know, completing the presentation well within the timelines. Thank you so much.